Hello and welcome to the Dr. Gackman Diet. This is my overview for November 2020. Um, November is a time for, uh, you know, starting of the holidays. Well, I mean, I guess you can say October and Halloween, but what I mean is Thanksgiving. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm not so good with my family, so I... Um, and plus, with all the, uh, you know, you got to follow some rules now with uh, gatherings and stuff. And, you know, we're not free anymore. Uh, but that's a whole other thing. I don't want to get into that too much. But let's just say my uh, Thanksgiving wasn't so good. Um, not a sad star story or uh, not whining or any complaining or anything. It's just, you know, it's just the way it is. And in fact, this video is probably going to be pretty short because I don't have that many pictures. But here we go. This is at B-dubs. This is cheesecake. But there's the strawberry sauce on it. Now, this is the same strawberry sauce that I do when I do... Um, they have a bunch of other sauces, but when they reopen since the whole uh, pandemic, the... Uh, uh, they ran out of the blueberry stuff, so I don't get the uh, blueberry mint tea lemonade that they <laughs> usually make. and It's so awesome, and I miss it. But they don't have the blueberry stuff. They got passion fruit, but nobody, come on, artificial flavored passion fruit Passion fruit's not very good. But this strawberry is pretty good, and it's the same strawberry that I get, like I said, in my strawberry Dr. Peppers. This is something that I made myself. I don't like Italian food. Wow, that's un-American, right? But I'll tell you, my brothers, they all worked, all three of them, all older brothers, when I was a kid, they worked at either Franco's or Spaghetti Warehouse or some other Italian place, and that's all we had all the time, and I got burnt out on it real quick. Plus, I don't like tomatoes, and tomatoes, you know, people will tell you that they're they're healthy food, but they're, not, they're really not good for you. Um, but anyways... Uh, this is from Gordon Foods, some uh, garlic bread. Uh, they got this fresher garlic bread now, and it's it's pretty good. Uh, I work at Gordon Foods, and not that I'm hyping up my our own stuff, but this is the lasagna. And now, of course, it's covered with my uh, <laughs> Parmesan cheese, uh, also from Gordon Foods. But, um, yeah, this was actually, I, I don't know what it is, but every once in a while, I don't like spaghetti. I don't like most Italian stuff, but every once in a while, if it's got a lot of meat and a lot of cheese on it, less so on the tomato side, uh, the and less so on the pasta side. I'm not like huge on pasta either. Uh, lasagna is is you know I, it hits a spot. You know, maybe once a year or even maybe once every two years, I'll I'll crave it. So, wow, these are awesome. I love these. These are only a dollar, and you get five or six per pack at Dollar General. And these are good for, like, they're small, but they're good for, like, a little snack here. Uh, you don't want to hold damn candy bars sometimes. You don't want to just sit there and, you know, these are, like, portioned out per snack or whatever. So, and... I like them both, and it's white chocolate, and nobody seems to like white chocolate. The cookies and cream white chocolate Hershey's and the Kit Kat white chocolate. But man, they need to bring out those other Kit Kat flavors. <clears throat> Here's that uh, um, lasagna that I was talking about. I think I forgot to take a picture of. Uh, I got tiramisu also to go with that. And it's kind of expensive, but I had to spend uh, my money from last year. You get bonus money from... Um, Gordon Foods, and I completely forgot, but I, I spent it before the before it expires because it expires before you get your bonus money for the next year. Blah blah blah. Finally found popcorners. Here we got sweet chili. They also have uh, here's the white cheddar, which is the first one that I ever had. These were at Gordon Foods, not to sell there, but somebody had them there in the break room, and I demolished them. Sorry, but not sorry. Um, and I was like, where do I get these from? So somebody came into GameSwap and was selling some stuff, and it was in a box for the Popcorners. And I looked up Popcorners, and I went to Walmart. I went to Kroger, 
you know, looked around, could not find pop corners. And, but Meyer had them. I got, you know, unlucky on a bus and I got off and I was just like, well, if I'm going to walk home, I'm taking the long way home, walking all the way from Sugar Creek um, Shopping Center, might as well go to Meyer. And they also have my my favorite shampoo, Long Distance Relationship, the Herbal Essences. Those are really good for good for long hair. It's pomegranate and something else. I can't remember. But anyways, we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. Pop Corners. Now, in case you don't know what those are, those are chips. In the shape of chips, they're baked because they're not fried um, because it's popcorn. Now, see, I don't like popcorn. I mean, I like the taste of popcorn, but I always choke on it. The kernels and and you know unpop kernels, uh, the just in general I the, they always they they hurt my teeth they get stuck in my teeth or they get stuck in my throat and I can't eat them but these are mushed into like a perfect chip without the without the hard kernels and without the um, the nasty stuff that gets stuck in your teeth it's it's really good they had other flavors too uh, they had a kettle corn one but I, I you know, I just got these two flavors, and they, uh, they're they very light. Um, they're not, like, super filling or whatever. Uh, they might even be good with nacho cheese. I didn't try that, that but uh, the uh, the sweet chilies are they're not too sweet. Um, they're still spicy, and the uh, white cheddar, man, they're so good. And speaking of so good, I'm beginning to like this, the Archer's Wings, better than B-Dub's. Now, B-Dubs, I think, makes really good wings, but these Archer's Wings are just so good. These, this flavor is hot honey. Now, they got other flavors, too, and it's the same kind of stuff that they can put on the ribs or other stuff or have as dipping sauces for your, like, onion rings or fries or whatever. But, man, uh, sometimes the potato skins are usually always good, but sometimes they're a little bit either too salty on the bottom. I don't know if they just decide to salt the bottom of them for some reason or whatever or sometimes they're not they don't fe they don't taste like they've been not that they it's cooked it's cooked enough but sometimes it's like not cooked enough and it's it, i don't know but 90 percent of the time they're they're excellent they're good every time and then these wings oh man that's a that's a crazy flavor you don't get at most places and you got to say um Spicy hot, I think, because if you say honey hot to the wrong person, they might think that you're looking to mix the honey with their hot sauce or whatever, but whatever. It's it's good. I really hope that they bring back their, probably I said this in the previous videos, but their peanut butter, and then you can dip it in the uh, jalapeno jelly. Man, that's good stuff. So, didn't take a lot of pictures this this month of, of stuff. I've been I've been down kind of all month. There's lots of different reasons, but here is um, a Thanksgiving meal. I really have to thank Sarah and her family, um, which would be you know her her sister in law Courtney and her brother, um, for hooking me up with this because you know I, I just didn't have a traditional thing and I. She brought it over, and I, I thank them for that. Um, don't really, you know, again, I don't want to mope about this. But, um, you know, and it was it was good. Uh, I'm not saying that it was bad. Uh, <laughs> that makes it sound like I'm saying it's bad, but um, it's very basic, and, and that's great. It's a little bit of a tradition, you know, and it's it was good. It was good, and I, and I thank them for that very much so. And let's see here. This, uh, I had to work Black Friday the day after. And because of that, usually I'm off on Fridays. Oh, man, their salad is so good at Archer's. I was talking about the wings and the sauces that you can get. But what about the ribs? I got to tell you, these ribs are unbelievable. Now, this is Chipotle mayo that I'm... Um, I guess I didn't get the picture of that, but the chipotle mayo that I dipped my uh, onion rings in. And then that's uh, blue cheese, and you could get dry and wet blue cheese on your uh, salad there. 
and you know they got eggs and croutons and all that other stuff and I don't like tomatoes so I take those off but the sauce I think I, I did this chipotle um, I think it's called chipotle bar barbecue I could be wrong or maybe it was the hickory barbecue I can't remember they got they got lots of different sauces you can do with the, the, the ribs and the wings but I'll tell you man I had been missing it and I don't know if they're not ordering enough or if they were super busy at the times that I was trying to do it or if I just came too late on Saturday. But I went there on Friday and I was like, I need ribs. <laughs> and I finally got them. And that was great because um, for almost two months, I haven't been able to get the ribs because they've been out by the time I get to them. It's, it's, it's only a weekend thing. And they, you know, I guess they're popular enough that, you know, they run out Friday or Saturday before I get there. So... And this is the last picture. Uh, Starbucks uh, at the Kroger uh, in Kettering on Dorothy Lane, across the street from where I work, they uh, renovated their their little store in there because they, they've been pretty successful. Uh, Christy, who runs it, she's, she's a nice lady. And uh, they usually do this in, uh, around the holidays. Uh, I think it go, went until December 1st where you get it's two dollars for a grande, which is like basically their medium size, I think. I think Vente is. I don't know. I I don't speak sp Starbucks, but usually what I get is a chai latte tea with cinnamon dolce and cinnamon sprinkles added. That was awesome. And you sometimes I get their little side offerings if I want something to eat along with it. If I'm if I'm walking back to work or or just walking in general when it's cold out and I'm, I got a, um, uh, the chai latte tea with me, this, it was, oh man, now I can't remember the name of it. And it was actually pretty good. There's been, sometimes I've gotten them and they've been gotten things from Starbucks and it's so fake, <laughs> you know, and it's so, uh, not to insult them or whatever, but considering the price that they are and considering how they make them look pretty, but then you go to eat them and they're dry and they're they're like I don't know if they've just been sitting there for a while or what. But these are good. I want to say it was it was a apricot cheese Danish. It was pretty good. And I've and I've done it twice already because they had the you know the two dollar deal. Of course, that means I'm staying away from Starbucks for the rest of the year because <laughs> they're too expensive otherwise. But um, and it was pretty good. It's pretty good. So. Thanks for watching. Um, November would normally be more of a packed month for for food and eating and stuff. Um, maybe by next November things will be better. Um, but there is my diet for November 2020. Thanks for watching.